Run. Well, hello, friends. Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. It is the morning of day 14, and before we head out today, I would like to throw some brass up in this here forge. Get that going. I also wanted to craft one of those mods, the schematic of which we got yesterday. Let me pull that up. It is the retractable stock mod, uh, but we are missing the glue. And we have plenty of bones, but we're actually out of murky water to craft uh, along with our bones into glue. So I grabbed all of our glass jars and we're going to go fill those up today. So why don't we start heading that way? And there are two, possibly three POIs I want to hit today. Probably a little ambitious to say three. But what I would really, really like to accomplish uh, either today or within the next two episodes is I want to get into that horde base. I want to get those walls all the way up to cobblestone and concrete and basically I want to go hit some POIs that are construction sites that are heavy with cobblestone and concrete or er, cobblestone and cement. So that's what we're going to be doing. And one more thing I wanted to mention is I went ahead and turned up the XP multiplier again. Now we did it one time. Uh, we turned it up to 150% XP on day seven. It's now day 14, so I felt it was time to turn it up to 200%. And you know, this is just, again, an experiment that we've been doing, just seeing how it goes to turn up the XP, but I have liked what I've seen so far. Things are getting a little bit more intense, a little bit more quickly, plus we're getting more skill points, which allow us to just build into more things and experience more of the game. All in all, I think this is a good thing and I'm enjoying it and I hope you guys are enjoying it. But that is what I have done. And you know, if it turns out to not be a good thing, we just won't do it next time. But for this series, we are up to 200% XP and we're just gonna see how that goes. Now the first POI that I want to loot is this construction site right here. And we have been here before. This is the one that we came to the day that we were trying to craft our ergonomic grip mod. And you remember how well that went. But there should be quite a lot of cobblestone and cement up in this place. There's also a Zambi bear down in a cave down below, uh, which we will kill just for the sake of killing it, but zombie bears not really worth killing. They're just kind of a waste of bullets, and all you get is rotten flesh from them, which, I mean, I guess we could start a garden at some point. I've been throwing out all of our rotten flesh so far, but we could start a garden if we were feeling inclined to do so. But uh, let me get all of this good stuff looted up, and uh, we'll go from there. Fun little fact about these uh, construction site POIs, uh, they've all got a pile of desert sand out in front of them. So, you know, if you're in the early game and you have access to a cement mixer, but you just don't have the crushed sand or whatever, you can actually dig up crushed sand pretty effectively at a uh, construction POIs. So, you know, nothing game changing, but uh, I've done it before and it's been helpful. All right, that's all the good stuff up there. Let's head down here and see if we have any Zambi friends that want to come out and say hello. Is anybody home? Nothing, just the one janitor zombie so far. Well, we might as well wake up the bear while we're at it and then we can just go through and loot this whole place safely. We could lock it in here with blocks and reinforce them to cobblestone, but I find that just running out here is pretty effective. And you can just kind of shoot Mr. Bear through the wall here. And you can clip through the wall that's happened to me before, but at our current power level, I am not super worried about that. And I think you can see why. Ooh, shotgun messiah crate, come on, give me something good. A level one iron helmet. Not what I was hoping for, but you know what? I'll take it. And, uh, oh, mother fucking cornmeal. Get out of here. You asshole. We got a little bit of food and water. We're not very hungry or thirsty yet, but we're going to be out for a while today. So I am not going to complain about that. We'll just throw it in the bike and munch that down once we get to that point. Huh. There seems to be something wrong with the... The game sound files, they're like bugging out today. When I'm breaking these, like, pallets of cobblestone and 
cement, half the time it's not making the, the noise at the end, like right there. It was just, it was like silent when it actually broke. Huh. I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm not super concerned about it. Alright, well it's not even 8 o'clock yet, and we have already had a pretty successful morning. We've got 1600 cement, and uh, we only got 280 cobble, that doesn't seem right. Huh, well we only have 280 on us, so that must be how much we got. Anyways, let's head off to the next POI right after we mark this place as looted. That was that one, right? There we go, let's go ahead and put a little X on that. And next we are going to be heading over to uh, the farmhouse right across the street from Bob's Boars and Carl's Corn. If I recall, there is quite a lot of cement and cobblestone in there as well, plus a bunch of hay bales which we can destroy for a good amount of plant fiber, I think. I'm hoping it's worth it because going out and pretending to be a lawnmower is going to get old, so I'm trying to think of ways that we can get plant fiber a bit more efficiently. Ah! <laughs> Oh, God. There's a lake there. All right, and there is our barn. And I think there's something inside. Whoa, back up, buddy. Oh, God, I'm stuck on my bike. That was cool. <laughs> uh, I think there's something in the silo up here, so why don't we just bust through the wall and see what's in there? Well, I am happy to report that these hay bales are going to be an excellent source of plant fiber. We're going to get like 400 in here, which is awesome. And there's also a steel shipping crate in the middle here. Let's see if we got anything good. A uh, chainsaw schematic and another iron helm. We'll scrap that. Chainsaw is a motor tool, like the auger. Um, like, it's cool. You know, it helps you chop down trees really fast, but you kind of get to a point, and we're already kind of at that point, where you just don't need much more wood. <laughs> So, I haven't ever found chainsaws to be super useful, unless you're, like, obsessed with making wooden spikes, and just, that's like your your one defense mechanism against Horde Knight is just, like, uh, all the spikes. Uh, in that case, chainsaws are very, very useful, but, you know what, I, I'm not going to complain, it's, uh, it's a recipe, and that's just fine, and I don't think there's anything else in here, so let's get outside and uh, head out front. You know, there's actually a bunch of cement up on that platform up there and I've had issues in the past with this platform collapsing once I break like the first cement block so I'm actually going to try building this up underneath and maybe that will stabilize it and maybe they fixed that problem I'm not really sure so we're just gonna see what happens here and nope uh, we lost it. That's a shame. That is a bunch of cement that I would have loved to have, but, you know, the game's in early access. There's going to be some wonky interactions, and that just happens to be one of them. Anybody home? Hi, guys! Oh, damn you. Timing was off there, but that's okay. Tough little guy. Hey, girl, what you doing? Just beating on that wall. All right, I'll take care of your sister. Whoa. Oh, there's a snake on the floor. Stay back. Stay back, demon. Oh God, what am I doing? Baseball bat, effective. Oh, we can chop him up for a little bit of meat. And we've got a bunch more cement and cobblestone over there, so let's just get to getting all the goodies. Oh, we got hay bale blocks. You can actually just pick these straight up and they scrap for looks like about seven plant fiber each, which is just fine by me. It's just more plant fiber that we don't have to go out and get ourselves. Oh, hi, friend. You almost made it in here. Aww. Who needs frame blocks? Let's just bust through the wall here. Alright, I think that is everything down here. Might as well grab these frames. 
And let's head up this ladder and see, whoa, see what we got upstairs. Uh, we definitely got some friends. Hi, guys. Thank you. Oh, God. Let's close that. Take out the old pumpy for Mr. Spider Monkey. <laughs> hey, where are you going? She got confused. Oh, so much more goodies in this room. Let's get to dig in. Oh, this bitch over here. Standing behind my cobblestone. Damaging it. How dare she? Doesn't she know that's why I'm here? You know, I've noticed something kind of odd about cobblestone. It always only gives you 35. Like with cement, I'm almost positive as you put points into a... Uh, not Miner 69er, but the other one. Uh, what the hell is it called? Motherload. As you put points into Motherload, I'm almost positive you get more cement per swing. Uh, unconfirmed, I could be wrong about that, don't mark my words. But uh, Cobblestone, it's like always 35. I find that odd. And I wish it would give me more because I need a lot of Cobblestone. Hi there. Oh, we got a, got a cop over there. Let's uh, back up. Might as well close this door. Y'all coming? Let's go. Let's uh, deal with big boy carefully. For a big fella, he sure is sneaky. Coming around the back. Where you at, big fella? There he is. Yeah. Get some. Alright, we got another floating platform with cement on it. Please don't fucking... Why? God damn. I... Yeah, I didn't want that or anything. Well, hi there, Mr. Cowboy. What were you two doing up here? You, you fooling around in the hay? Going for a roll in the hay? Sorry to interrupt you, friend. Alright, let us see what we got in the boxes. Two working stiff tools. Eh. And in the main loot, we have got some diamonds. Just a bunch of stuff to sell, it looks like. But you know what? That's fine. I don't mind having cash lying around. Oh, I missed one little pile of cement over here. And it is only hour 13. I'm thinking... My goal of hitting three POIs today was actually pretty darn realistic. So let's get back down to the bike and head up to another construction site. I never thought I'd be excited to say this, but oh my gosh, we got 900 plant fiber from that. All right, and we are going to head up north to the snow biome. And I'm not nearly as savvy with the POIs up here as I am with the ones in the grass biome and the, uh, the burnt biome, but... I seem to remember a construction POI in one of the smaller towns up here. And, uh, you know, we've only got so many places we we can check, so we're going to go try to find it. Oh, you know what? The paper mill is actually right up ahead. And I know the paper mill has a bunch of cobblestone. Why don't we just do the paper mill instead, rather than running around trying to find something better when this is right here. And uh, I usually come here because of all these rolls of paper you get an absolute ton of paper for clearing this whole place out and paper is used in place of brass for making shotgun shells so as a shotgun nut at least I typically play with shotguns uh, I almost always come up here to the paper mill and clear this room out but I think I'm gonna pass on the paper today we have not really been using much in the way of shotgun shells, so I am not going to go out of my way to grab all this stuff. You know, if we ever have to come back, that is always an option. Hark, I hear an angry lumberjack. What's up, big boy? Oh, God! Oh, that's a cat! No, 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 no! Oh! You 
got to be fucking kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. That's it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I died. We were so strong. Oh! I really thought we were just more than prepared to take on anything that came our way, but man, that damage... That damage stacked up so damn fast. A freaking cougar and a lumberjack. Ah, oh, you gotta love the frozen biome. Well, that's it for this character, but don't lose hope. We will be back with another series starting at your regularly, regularly scheduled time. Uh, we are on a every other day upload schedule right now. For the first couple weeks, I was doing a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But I didn't quite like the feel of that. It was like a whole bunch of content dumped on you guys over the weekend and then nothing throughout the week. So I figured every other day is going to be just fine. It's just about the same amount of content for me to produce. But yeah, I'm going to give it some thought tonight and uh, come up with a plan for our next playthrough. I've already got some ideas, but I'm going to try and pick one. Uh, I'm going to have to choose between either another slower series like the one we just did. And I was thinking that I was going to do, I was going to be on that series, this one, for a while, and uh, eventually we would just get bored, and I would go commit suicide like I'm about to, <laughs> running up to this bear, and uh, then we'd do like a, a fast, crazy, intense playthrough, uh, and I'm not even sure what that's going to look like yet, and then we do another slow playthrough after that, but I'm not really sure, I'm really going to have to give it some thought. I'm not sure what's going to be the best, but yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love your faces, and I'll see you here next time. Bye. Hark. I hear an angry lumberjack. It's a big boy. Oh, God. Oh, that's a cat. No. No, 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 oh! You've gotta be fucking kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. That's it.